Hello, Gavin here and welcome to Pedal Grooves. Today we're going to take four pedals, pair them up with the drum machine and the looper pedal on the floor and see what we can come up with. So today we've got four pedals. We've got the Gojira Analog Octave Up, the Digitech Bass Synthwire, the Carl Martin Optical Envelope Filter and the Ernie Ball Ambient Delay. And I'm a big fan of all these pedals and to be honest with you, this has been a lot of fun working with these pedals together and I'm excited for you to hear what we came up with. But before we get to that, we're going to look at the four pedals, look at some of the sounds that we can make with them and really just have a wee bit of time with each on their own. But if you don't want to listen to all that, that's totally cool. You can skip to the time in the corner and you'll hear the jam on its own. But before we get to that, first off, we're using the Fender. What am I using again? <laughs> it's a Fender Jazz Bass with the old flat wounds on it from Rotosound and we are also using the Roland TR8 as our drum machine triggering sounds from Ableton the looper is the Ditto X4 from TC Electronics and we're powering the pedals today with the Dan Electro Battery Billionaire which is a really cool product we'll be talking about more of that in the future but honestly really cool stuff and of course my tuner is my older than time Korg Pitch Black tuner it's never failed me and I think that'll permanently be on my board for the rest of my life. So let's have a look at the pedals we're using today. First up we have the Gojira Effects Analog Octave Up, which I did do a full video on this along with the sub -dark from them and I love both pedals, they're both really good pedals and if you've not seen that the link is in the description to see that demo. But today we're just using the Octave Up and we're going to use it as our lead tone, sort of like the, the cleaner lead tone, which I know seems a bit crazy to say because it's still quite gritty, but it just gives it that warmth. So just to look at that on its own, first up we have the clean tone of the bass. So that's just the bridge pickup and that sounds like this. That'll do it. And with the Gojira Octave Up. See, it just gives it that little bit of character. And I love that pedal. I really love that sound. I overuse that sound now. I'm sorry. You're going to hear that a lot. <laughs> so, moving on. We are going to use the Digitech Bass Synthwire. Now this pedal really deserves a video of its own. There are so many sounds in this pedal. Like, so many sounds. And I love it. I actually bought this when I was on holiday in Florida. Um, probably about eight years ago. Something like that. Um, maybe it was actually more than that. We'll say eight. But this is a pedal I brought back with me. And they stopped making it a wee while after I would bought it. And I kind of wish I'd bought two or three more because the price has gone up on these since that time. Yeah, there was a period of time you could get these really cheap. And I kind of wish I'd bought loads of them up at that point because it's been a mainstay on my board for a long time. So we will dive into that deeper in, 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 in another video, <laughs> if I can speak English. But for today, we're just going to look at the sound I use in the video. Both pickups on. <laughs> sound. I mean, it's Jamaica in a box. I love it. <laughs> but that, that pedal is fantastic. And the cool thing with it as well is it does have a separate output on the side that you can just have the effect out that output and the dry sound out the other. Obviously, you should really isolate those as well with, like, say, the gig rig humdinger or something like that. But even just as it is like that, it's super cool. So definitely check those out and that will be heavily used as the intro sound in the loop we're going to play. And next up we have the Carl Martin Optical Envelope Filter. Now this pedal again, like the Digitech, has so much it can do. There's, you've got the high pass setting, the band pass and the low pass setting. Today we only used the high pass setting and we used it for that kind of funky wah effect at the start but we also used it is like a 
almost mogi lead sound. That's how I would describe it anyway. Kind of that 70s in you know, a funk keyboard sound. And it sounds something like this. It's a great sound. I mean, who needs a guitar player when you can do that on a bass, right? Uh, but obviously I also use it for... that type of sound in the track, but I do pair it up with the Gojira Octave Up, and this combination sounds great together. I'm a big fan of this combo. Yeah, love that sound. So that's a sound that gets used a lot in this track actually, you'll, you'll see me using that combination a lot, but I also will be bringing in the delay pedal a lot. So you'll see with the delay pedal, on its own, it's doing what you'd expect a delay pedal to do. Those harmonics didn't ring out. That's better. So, really cool sound on its own, and the cool thing with this one is the delay effect, like the amount of the delay is, like, I suppose you call it the mix, is done on like a wah pedal style foot control. So it's good to be able to kind of bring it in, so clean. Delay. So it's great, it does have reverb built in as well, which is on about halfway. In fact, everything's really at about halfway on that pedal, so yeah, I I just love that pedal and I don't really change settings too much on it, I tend to just bring in as much as I need. And it works great like that, so...
thank you very much for watching really appreciate that and if you've enjoyed this video please hit like and subscribe and if you've got any other ideas for pedal pairings or any questions about what you've heard please let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you there so until next time thank you very much for watching and until then keep working on those bass faces